Franco. Franco, are the boys ready to walk out the door? Hey. Hey. They're already on the bus. All three of them? Wait, there. Wait, there's three of them? I'm just kidding. Okay. Oh, I'm Thank sorry. It's a bad joke. No, it's. I'm seriously late for work. Well, you're not, because. <sighs> I, I called the hospital, and Tiffany said she'd be more than happy to cover for you. You did? Wait, she did? Yes, I yes I did, and she did. And come on, you've had like four hours sleep, and you need another ten or fifteen hours easy. So let's go. Seriously, do I have to march you up there myself? It's, it's really tempting. Wait, how do you know I only got four hours of sleep? Well, I may have been up too, because I was worried about you. Need to get to work. No, you don't. You don't. Come on. Your your son's father is in a coma. I mean, if ever there was a reason for a personal day, I think this is it. I know. I know, but honestly, too much time on my hands and my imagination just runs away from me. Hey, Jason is going to be okay. What if he's not? Then what? Then Jake doesn't have a father, and neither do. Danny or Scout and Sam loses her husband and I will always wonder if the time I stole from Jason would have somehow made a difference. Really? You're you're gonna you're blaming yourself? Well, shouldn't I? No, I I think that if there was a poll, the results would be mixed. I'm pretty sure that Sonny and Sam are gonna blame themselves. I'm positive that when Jason wakes up he's gonna blame himself. You just think I'm being silly. No, I okay. No, I don't think you're being silly. I just I think that there's probably a more productive use of your time than beating yourself up. You could try and help Monica. Monica? How? Well, I don't know. Maybe invite her over. I'm sure she'd love to spend time with Jake. I'm sure it would comfort her to, you know, maybe talk about Jason and his childhood. Okay. Um, that sounds like a, a nice idea. But let's, can I talk about it when I get home from work? Oh, hi. Oh, I'm, hello. Running and I, I'm running out. I'm really late for work. Why? Hi, son. Hmm. I, I, I'm sorry, do I do I know you? So it's my fault that we haven't seen each other in ages. <sighs> Things have been really crazy here. Jake's father, who I don't get along with under the best of circumstances, is kind of beeping along in a hospital. Elizabeth and Jake are afraid for him, and I'm like the last person in the world who's qualified to give him comfort. Well, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that I'm not going to make things any better. Hi. There's plenty of room. I'll be quick. I just want to say a quick prayer before I start my shift. Are you working? Yeah, it helps to keep busy. Oh, oh I guess, uh... Everyone has their own coping mechanism. I just I hope you're not using yours to avoid your feelings. Now you sound like Franco. <laughs> that is the first time I've ever heard that. Believe it or not, he's very perceptive. And he's helped me a lot since Jason got hurt. And yes, I see the irony in Franco offering his support while I worry about Jason. So, uh, while you were in New York, I got some bad news. What's the bad news? Well, my father died. And I know that things have been really crazy for you, and it's not like you had a relationship with your grandfather, and, I, you know, you've never even met him, so I figured, why would I bother you? Why would you, why would you bother me? Because I'm your son, that's why. 